Hey, what up Legends, how's it going? Today's a beautiful day because it is the first time since the game came out that Blizzard graced us with a couple of nerfs. Pretty good ones at that, and I created my own deck, tried to have some fun playing a couple of the new buffed cards and uh, enjoying myself, maybe climb a couple ranks while doing so. Um, if you're interested in the deck that we will be playing today, there is going to be a link for both Art Pawn and Out of Cards in the description. You can go on whichever you prefer, and if you would like to support the show, leave an upvote. That makes me feel really good, and it helps the show, and it helps other players notice that the deck exists and they can give it a shot as well. So that's that. Also, there was a giveaway today on the channel. I'll announce the winner of the 40 card pack giveaway at the end of the video. And as always, since we're in a new week, there's a new giveaway. This week, since Blizzard came up with this fantastic idea, I'm giving Master Bundles. First of all, you get a card pack. I'm giving two of them, by the way, uh, on Sunday. So you get a card pack, which is awesome. Uh, it actually looks pretty good. You get a hero, the Thunder King, uh, which is absolutely fantastic. And 20 card packs. Um, so that's a pretty good deal. If you'd like to participate in that giveaway and have a chance at winning one of those two bundles, all you have to do is be a lucky subscriber. So subscribe to the channel uh, and uh, just let me know down in the comment section what you think of the Thunder King and I'll enter you in a draw for those 20 packs hero and card back. All right, the idea behind this deck is quite simple. While yes, it is pretty fun. In fact, it's probably gonna be one of my most favorite decks to play with in the next coming weeks. It might not be the strongest on the ladder right now. However, um, it is based around mechs and lightning related, you know, thunder related stuff. So Storm Chaser, Thunderhead, Stormbringer, Zap, um, Menacing Nimbus, and all. Um, this is kind of an, an idea behind the deck. And uh, yeah, Max, because Snip Snap, brand new card. Uh, we're running Thunderhead, which is being buffed. Uh, hence the, you know, Zaps and Voltaic Burst and whatnot. Um, and of course, Stormbringer, because buffed. I, I, I shouldn't have to explain this. It's an aggregation of stuff that have been changed. Also, we're playing the Thunder King. Um, so it all relates to him. I thought it was a good idea. It might not be. I don't know. But I want to enjoy myself. And I thought this was going to be the, the easiest way to do so. Thunder King. Um, yeah, we're also running a cauldron because we've got a lot of small stuff that are most likely going to die, so there's a very good chance for us to actually uh, get value from it. Also, screw off there. Do not appreciate. Um, how neat. I can actually do this. It heals. He's going to kill the knife juggler, I understand. Kind of sucks. There's not much I can do about it. Oh boy. Okay. Things happening. He is not killing the knife juggler, which I personally see as a mistake. As I can now throw knives at shit pretty effectively. Hey. Um, I fuck it. Voltaic burst as well. I'm keeping my board. Goodbye. Goodbye. Hey, that's how it is, right? He's playing tokens. I'm playing tokens. Mine are better because... Yeah, because reasons. <laughs> oh, we've got a Thunderhead. Although, I will play Soul of the Murlocs. Just because. Want to keep the board. How did you do that? You play Soul of the Murlocs. I also feel like this This is one of the reasons why this deck was not good like two expansions ago. Um, so the Murloc did not exist, so you did not have like a way to actually come back in the game and, and whatnot, and the guy's just dead. So, what did we learn? 
Don't underestimate. Do not underestimate Token Shaman. It is pretty darn fun. Although I did not do what I wanted to do um, in this showcase. Namely, Stormbringer. I mean, we're playing Thunder King. We've got Stormbringer that's been reduced in cost. We gotta play it. The deck that I made today is pretty unique, pretty weird. Um, although if you appreciate it, you would like to support the show or me, um, I'll have a link for both Heartpawn and um, Out of Dot Cards in the description. You can go on there, leave a little upvote, that would be highly appreciated. Plus, it will give a chance to other players to see it and give it a shot for themselves. Although it is not the most powerful deck um, at all, it is highly entertaining, in my opinion, and is worth giving a shot to. Yeah, if you've got the cards for it, though. Um, the idea was add a bunch of the cards that have been buffed or added to the game this, uh, this time around. So we're playing uh, Snip Snap, which has been added. Um, we're playing Thunderhead, which has been buffed. We're playing Stormbringer, which has been buffed. Uh, yeah, I mean, you get the point, right? Play Knife Juggler, since I can. The idea is to get a big board, um, finish your opponent off with a Bloodlust, or get a big Stormbringer. Obviously, you're playing tokens, you've got a lot of aggression, you can do that without that. Um, it, it shouldn't be too complicated. Uh, right? I'm going to Zap. And mm, or they just want a micro attack right now. I think I just want a micro attack. It did not kill it, so I will zap. I want. I tried. I, I I took a you know. I took a shot. Messed up. It's fine. We had a, a way to uh, come back from that. Ah, uh, uh, that sucks. Ah, uh, that's really bad. Fucking lightning storm, huh? Okay, well, we'll play Whirly Glide. I'm not gonna spend mana on Voltaic Burst at the moment. Uh, my opponent seems to be playing some sort of control deck, which I disapprove of. I do not really appreciate that. I'm just gonna put down some bombs on the board, so that's already six damage. Um, the more I can lay into him, the you know, more powerful this becomes and at any moment. Bloodlust actually works decently well. Hell yeah. So, I have Stormbringer in hand and I've got a full board. The question is, does he clear it? Or does he die? The answer is probably die. Unless he's got some magical solution. He has not really done much since the start of the game. However, if he does play a Gattas and he can clear, he can do 7 to everything after a Stormbringer, I'm gonna be really pissed. Because he's playing a control deck. That would be my demise. What is that? What is that? What is he doing? Hex. Oh, that does not matter. That does not matter. Um, but that is fine. Uh, we will play the Stormbringer. Hey, Shavala. Um, that was pretty shit. We got a 3-3, we got a 1-1, we got a 4-3, most of it was pretty garbage. Like, all of it was garbage, actually. This, this, this is no good. And a Gathis. Is that a Gathis? No, it's a Hex. Oh, interesting. <laughs> Good sir, utterly destroyed by a board full of golden cards. Enjoy, my friend. That's how you play this deck. That is how you play this deck. I did say I wanted to show Stormbringer 
managed to do so. I know the video is not that long, but the idea is there and it's there for me to enjoy and for you to enjoy as well, which is why link in the description, give it a shot. Um, apart from that, thank you everyone for watching. Make sure to subscribe if you have not already. And of course, uh, the winner of the giveaway this week is Jackson Paris. Your name's in the description. If you didn't win, there's always next week. Um, plus, the gifts for the giveaway are going to be pretty spicy. So, thank you very much, and I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye-bye.